You should not be surprised or to think it extreme. When you look at the state of the churches, when you look at everything that is called Christ, you must accept as reality one of the most dangerous places to be in all the world is in the modern church. Churches, buildings called churches. The church is holy, is pure, is without spot, without wrinkle is the, the body of Christ, the elect of God. The church preaches by the Holy Spirit of God. So when I use that word, I'm referring to the fact that the carnal knowledge that is taught, the words of man, the dreams of man, visions of man that are taught as though they were the word of God, The destructive nature. I'll tell you how dangerous. Listen to a Christian radio station. Listen to the music. You hear a song that you think sounds good. And then you immediately hear one by someone who's possessed by another spirit, another Jesus. It's top of the charts. Everything they love, the Christian gatherings. Go to a Christian concert today and you see them all line up and they do their sinner's prayer and then they tell the audience, you're born again. Don't, don't worry when you sin and you feel guilty. That's the devil haunting you. When it's Christ who said, when the Holy Spirit is coming, will convict the world of sin of sin, that they feel guilty of their sin because the Lord is pressing them and they resist the teaching of the Holy Ghost. It's a dangerous place to be, the affiliation to it. If the Word of God, the Scriptures are breathed from the mouth of God, how is it there's so many translations? How is it you look in your building and you see so many different translations, so many different meetings. You see the fruit of it. If it's spoken from the mouth of God, what is the truth? There's no, you see, discernment is not just knowing right and wrong, it's right and almost right because the devil, when he came, he knew the word. Cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Hath God really said, You shall not eat from the trees in the garden? No, when it says that the devil comes, he comes masquerading as an angel of light and as ministers, ministers of righteousness that over and over the scriptures preach that the place and the habitation of the devil is to be clothed in sheep's clothing has to come as ministers of righteousness. Not all of what is called the churches teach this, but there's so many that are falling away and they're affiliated one with another. They join hands one with another. They teach that we just defer on a few small doctrines you can't hear. That there is nothing in common. What fellowship has light with darkness or Christ with Belial or uh, him that believeth with an infidel? Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord and I'll receive you unto myself. Come out from among them, and be ye separate. When he says, I hear commonly there's purportedly fornication among you, such as not as fit among the Gentiles, not even heard of among the Gentiles. Put that wicked person out from among you when you're gathered together in my spirit. Is this where you live? 
Is this where you worship? Or are you having fellowship? Because being affiliated to be known, to be heard, you must almost all together abandon the truth, even if you hold to some semblance of the truth. The Christian artists sign their soul away to join these collaboration concerts. You see the great danger with your brethren and you make good music and another brother or sister comes to see your music and they hear false preachers, false teachers, false salvations being preached. Do you not know that he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity? He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. No, this is that hour of testing that shall come upon the whole earth. Look diligently to your steps. Look diligently that you are found walking in obedience to the word of God. All souls are naked and laid bare before him to whom we have to do. God will bring into account even every idle word. Even every idle word. He'll make manifest the counsels of man's hearts. There's rarely any teachings of living preachers today that can be fully relied upon. Not of what you'll hear. There may be a few good ones left, but look at these false Bibles they're following. They were told by someone with a doctorate, this is the scriptures, the most reliable manuscripts. But you cannot hear. Are they hearing the word of God? Do they have spiritual understanding? Let me ask you this. Have you been taught what Jesus teaches in Matthew 13? When he said, why do you speak unto them in parables? Because they seeing do not see, and hearing do not hear, neither do they understand. Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, to them it is not given. Do you understand what he's talking about in the book of 1 Corinthians when he says, among those that are mature, we speak the wisdom of God and a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God has before ordained, has ordained before the world and our glory. Are they teaching this, that the scriptures are written, are breathed from the mouth of God, are written in parables so that the natural mind cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God, things that are taught unto us by His Spirit, that we receive by His Spirit, which things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, and yet they have paraphrased books, altered books, missing books. Even those who were alive and well washed from their sins are unable to see, unable to hear because they do not even hold the Bible in their hand. But another book that they teach unto you is more accurate, it's more accurate, altered texts. All scriptures, when Jesus said, without a parable, spake he not unto them. Or when the Lord says, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings which have been hidden. That the word is written in a spiritual language hidden from the eyes of the unsaved. That it's not plain to the natural man that they do not receive the things of the Spirit of God. That they cannot discern the scriptures. They cannot understand the scriptures. It's not a simple lack of effort or trying or ignorance. It is a willful ignorance but a certain blinding of the mind. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Not a hardness of the mind, but a blindness that is in them. Are they teaching this? Are they teaching you that the scriptures are not to be interpreted literally? 
Or have you heard this, sir? Correct historical text to their author's original audience? Context? A rigid structure? Around the wisdom of man? When all scriptures breathe from the mouth of God, the Lord speaks today, do they hear him? He that is of God hears God's words. He that is of God hears God's words. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That there's no one that is speaking by the Spirit of God, that is carried away into such a false doctrine when confronted by the Word of God that will continue on in his error, that it is clear and plain that they are not of us, they look clearly into the law of liberty and reject it openly? No, after the first or second admonition, he shall be unto thee as a heathen. He that is of God hears us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So is this what they're teaching? Are they hearing the word of God in these days? Or is it true what the scripture says, that there shall come a famine in the land, not of bread or of water, but of hearing the words of God? A famine of hearing with the ears. Maybe this is why they don't hear the warning. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Unto the churches. So examine your steps carefully. Can they give you an explanation to the understanding of the Old Testament, of the New Testament, to any of the scriptures? If they're void, if they're not hearing from the Lord, either they're prophets or they're nothing. Not a word of their mind, of a dream, of a vision, but of hearing the word of God. And that which you have heard in the ear, that proclaim ye upon the housetops. Are they faithful in all things? Can they say as Paul, I am clean of the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to speak unto you the full testimony of the Lord? No. Are they building a kingdom that the Lord has said shall fall, shall crumble? That we're not to be tainted with the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy? No, you're not that a little leaven leavens the whole lump. But it's time that the church of God be pure and holy and separate unto him and pure, without spot, without wrinkle. This is the church he returns for. Are you a member? Just look around you. You shall know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. There are many deceiving spirits. There are many spirits that have gone into the world. Many deceiving spirits. He that is of God hears us. He that is of God hears God's words. If you don't know what that means, pray. Seek from the Lord wisdom. Seek from the Lord wisdom till he gives you ears to hear and eyes to see. Till he comes and reveals to you the truth. Till you hear his voice in the scriptures. Because you must hear him. Yes, the days are coming and now are when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And those that hear shall live. Those that hear shall live. It must be more. You must come to know him. Father, have mercy on them. Open their eyes. Let them see thy presence. Let them see thy truth. Let them see thy son. Convict our hearts of everything that is not of you. And lead us, Father, into your truth, into righteousness, and into your will. Let us see clearly the darkness that is around us. And let us see what is your voice. In Jesus' name, amen.